Hey guys, I wanted to make another tutorial and basically this is just to show you how to take a scan copy of your signature and place it onto one of your photos. So here's a, a photo that I did and I live in Hawaii so I, I can't sign all my photos and ship it out to my customers on the mainland because the vendor that I use is actually in San Francisco and um, it's just not possible for them to do ship it to me and then me ship it back to my customers it just costs too much money so I figured a way how to do it and it looks good it's really your signature um, and uh, I'll show you what I did so basically um, you have to scan uh, a copy of your of your signature um, or just on a black pen is good you use a thick marker so they can really people can see your signature well and um, basically what you want to do is t take take your scan image open it in Photoshop and what you want to do is um, hold the Apple L button down and that'll control your levels uh, move this slider over so you'll notice that the contrast um, is getting darker you want it to go up pretty high so it's a lot better than the original the original was really faded like that but slide it all the way over and you'll notice that it's a lot darker and this is good so select OK and um, basically what you want to do next is I'm gonna zoom in I'll hold the Apple and the plus button that zooms in there's a lot of spaces here it, it's still kinda you see how it's not too dark yet so I'm gonna do it one more time Apple L I'm gonna move the slider over a little bit so it's darker okay that's good next thing I want to do is um, get the the magic wand tool which is here I select the tolerance for 20 but 20 or 30 should work so once you do that click on your signature and you'll notice a lot of the thing won't be highlighted completely um, there'll, there'll be a little spots that are missing hold the shift button down and you'll see the plus sign on the wand and select some of these blotches right here so that's pretty good there's some spots that are missing here okay but that's but that's pretty good okay so you don't have to get it perfect but that's good so basically you you have your signature now and it's um, you use the magic wand and it's highlighted so the next thing we want to do is invert it because we want to add color to it unless you want to use it black then you don't really need to go any further um, kind of skip ahead and, and you'll see how to convert it over to your photo but if you want it to have color um, th these are the next steps that you need to take um, so basically it's highlighted now and what I want to do is go to image up here adjustment and invert it or you can hit the Apple I button it does the same thing so now it's inverted um, now what we want to do is I, like I said I wanted to add color and I kind of just did this myself I don't know if this is the right way to do it or not but I don't really care I, I selected the paintbrush and up for my brushes I selected a 65 or 100 it doesn't matter either will work and you know pick your color whatever you want blue I'm, I'm using yellow because it matches my photo um, so you, you can pick the color that you want your signature to be and then basically what I do is I just kinda brush over my signature it's kinda tacky but whatever you know it's I just y you can go outside a line it's not gonna do anything because it's only gonna paint the inside of your signature again I don't know if this is the right way to do it but this is the way I do it and it works fine for me so you can just go over it and kids it looks pretty good okay so now now that's done the next thing I want to do is um, I wanna I just wanna copy this signature that I have so far I wanna get rid of the back the white background so what you have to do it's still highlighted because you didn't do anything else hold the Apple and the J button and that will select a new layer so when I turn all these layers off we're left with just with my signature now so now you can transfer this onto your photo but here's a couple other steps that I've done that makes it look a little better so double click on this layer over on the right side over here we'll double click it it brings up the layer style and you can do a couple things you can add a outer glow and you can notice that the outer glow is you know you, you'll see it a little bit better and wh what I like to do is add the bevel 
here and and uh, and the contour so select that and what you can do is you can adjust these so I like to the technique I like to use is the chisel soft or chisel hard that's a little much you can change the depth but y you, you kind of see where I'm going at right I mean you want it to look a little more like a signature with some depth um, when I didn't have this, it, there's not too much depth, so you can you can adjust these so it adds shadow and texture to it. That's too much. I don't want to do that. So once you're done, hit OK. This is fine for tutorial purposes. So what I do now, and I'll I'll show you. I'm gonna turn this off. So now you have your signature. Okay, let me shrink this down. You don't need to worry about how to do it. It just I'm just gonna shrink it down. Okay, so now I'm grabbing. Open your photo up in Photoshop or whatever. Yeah, open your photo in Photoshop. And basically, take your signature that we just worked on now. Grab that palette right here, this layer, and drag it over into the new photo, the photo that you just opened. And you'll, you'll notice you can use the Move button. You Now you can add your signature anywhere. If it's too small, hold the Apple, hit the T button, and... I hold the shift button down when I control this because it, it maintains the, the ratio. If you don't, then you'll kind of screw everything up. So hold the shift button down, and then you can kind of adjust your signature. And, and if it's too big or small, you can adjust it. But this is what I like to do, and this is what I use. Um, it works good. My clients like it. And if you know, mess around with, with uh, the layer style and you know get it to where you like it and uh, this is a good way also to uh, watermark your photos too I mean you can do it really big and if you want to like watermark it you know if you want to just that's kind of lame but you know what I mean like if you if you don't want people to steal your photos you can watermark it like that but um, basically it's, it's used for signature purposes for your photos um, just a, a new way to do it I guess um, like I said I, 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 I didn't find any good ones on YouTube so hopefully this will help you guys and if you have any questions let me know thanks